No, I think, I mean, I've got to be honest about it. I think the 70s was the worst period we've ever had. A surprising thought for a man who was a Roubaix, but Tony Thorpe's time with one of the key bands of the 70s left him battered and bemused. In France, the Roubaix were bigger than the Beatles had been. That was the one place in the world they were, the Roubaix were massive. They pick us up at the airport, they drive us into uh, the TV studio, and there's mobs of birds screaming and doing all the bits of anxiety and crying. And we pull up, and this bird's at the car, and her main man is Bill, who's now left. So she comes to the window of the car, and she's going, Bill, 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 Bill. Looks through the window, no Bill. So she says, where is Bill? So John Richardson, the drummer, who never was one for mincing words, said, Bill A. Moore. Right? Bill's dead. And she went, Meek, Meek, Meek. And it's suddenly you go, that's how much it bloody means. The acts were bigger than we were. I mean, we said at the time, the acts could have gone solo and had a much bigger career than the band, which is always niggling. It does seem a long time ago. Uh, and I think that's the way it should stay, really. Then, of course, somewhere around mid-decade, everything changed. Punk came in, the oil crisis started, Kevin Keegan had a perm. The 70s would never be the same again. So, here we are back where we started from. We've heard some good music, we've seen some interesting fashions, but are we really any nearer understanding what the 70s were all about? No, I don't think so. I don't actually think we'll ever fully uh, be able to evaluate the decade. It was such an inconsistent decade, full of glitches, full of all sorts of bizarre things happening. The consistency is quite hard with it. The great thing about the 70s is that it makes no sense whatsoever. And where are they now, all the people who brought life and colour to the decade before last? Stan Bowles selling second-hand shirts on Brentford Market. Aisha Brough and Barry Blue simply disappeared. Duncan McKenzie has a lovely house in Newton the Willows. Old boss Gordon Lee is always dropping round for tea. And back in Burnley, Tony Thorpe singing the blues. Sugar baby, love. Sugar baby, love. I didn't mean to hurt you Oh, sugar baby love 